guys, yeah, it's the rain and then the wind because the ground is totally saturated. So if you get wind gusts up to 30, 40 miles per hour, everything kind of topples because it doesn't have that secure foundation in that wet ground. We do still have the flash flood watches and warnings still in effect. Include San Francisco under a watch right now, and the rain is pretty heavy, although moving to the east. We are going to see more rain take hold down across Southern California, too, and then this also means more mountain snow. So this is probably the last storm system we'll see for a while. As it moves inland, it'll bring that snow and the rain into the southwest, and we are looking for several inches of snow and uh, I'd say several feet of snow, actually, also several inches of rain, too, and that threat will continue to move eastward as we go into Tuesday. So we're looking, I'd say, an additional one to two inches of rain, especially in interior parts of California. We could see rainfall rates up to a half an inch per hour. Again, that leads to the threat of flooding and the mudslides, too, and even in the Sierra Nevada mountain range, we could see another 36 inches of snow before all is said and done as this moves eastward, Chanel. All right, Dylan, thank you. Today has been